Hi y'all, today I wanna to discuss person-centered care and how an already busy speech language pathologist can apply the principles of person-centered care so you could still make treatment really functional and meaningful and also not overload yourself with extra work. Person-centered care means treating the patient not only from our clinical perspective, looking at their cognition and swallowing, helping them out in that areas, but also understanding that the patient doesn't live in the vacuum they have a lot of things going on in their lives. They're also an emotional being, they're a mental being, spiritual being, they have finances going on. All these things you wanna take into consideration when you're making a treatment plan. That is person-centered care. Person-centered care is based upon the biopsychosocial model of care. This is what ASHA uses as its framework to figure out our scope of practice and some of our ethics as well. It's essentially saying that this patient, the clinical stuff is important, the cognition and swallowing is important, but we also have to consider things like who's paying for this? How many treatment sessions are being covered? Who is involved in the patient's care? Are there family members around, caregivers around? All these things we wanna take into account when we're practicing person-centered care. So that's a lot to do. How do you actually do that and know all that stuff about the patient? It'll take time. You're usually not gonna learn all this info in the first session. That's okay. The more we work with the patient, the naturally more we're gonna learn about them. But first and foremost, you do wanna know some of their values and their preferences so that the goals that you make make sense for them and are meaningful for them and how you understand their values and their preferences is you straight up ask them. Um, you have a treatment plan, you have a treatment goal or a recommendation, you share that with them, you share your reasoning behind why that might be valuable or important for them to have that as a goal, and then you ask for their feedback. It's gonna be a give and take situation. And you're also gonna be open to exploring different treatment options. They share that Maybe this treatment plan makes them uncomfortable or they don't like it for whatever reason. Person-centered care means you're gonna be a little bit flexible. Maybe having a modified diet is gonna be the safest thing for your patient, but they're not having it, they don't want it for whatever reason. You're gonna to have to be flexible and work with them. You're gonna to try to understand from their perspective. What's the biggest reason they're pushing back on this? Let me try to understand where the patient is coming from. The reason we do this is in the biopsychosocial model of care, in the person-centered care model, we're viewing the patient as more of a partner in care versus we are hosts in this healthcare system. We're honoring that while I'm the expert at cognition and swallowing, the patient is the expert in their own life. And we're gonna show that respect for their expertise by involving them in decision-making. In the end, you're gonna share your perspectives and you're gonna reach a collaborative decision. This collaborative decision is gonna feel like a compromise, but you're still gonna keep your goals that are gonna be safe and meaningful for the patient. At the end of all this, you're gonna review the plan together so that you have a shared understanding. Not only do you want the patient to understand what's going on, you wanna make sure that you understand how the patient is feeling and the patient's understanding of the plan. Are we on the same page, essentially? So you're going to review whatever treatment plan you made. It might be a short-term goal or a long-term goal. It might be a plan for the tasks for the next few weeks. It might have to do with who's gonna be involved in the care, like different caregivers. Um, different types of therapists, whatever it is, you're gonna make sure you have a shared understanding. So once again, person-centered care means we're gonna work on the clinical stuff and view the patient from a clinical perspective while also remembering their whole context, what else is going on in their life. If you want more information about person-centered care, if you want a quick cheat sheet, we have one available. PDF format on our Etsy site check out Adult Speech Therapies Etsy site for more info.